Hi, welcome back. I have to show you my back first. Why? Because today we're going to take a look at the art of the Mandalorian season one. And already turning this around. Come on. Very cool. But oh, before I page through the book, I'm an SJD and I do product reviews like these. I do animation analysis clips, I do acting analysis clips, I do lectures and animation news and feedback clips from my workshops, all kinds of stuff. You know the pitch, just go through the channel, something that you like, you can take a look at it, you can subscribe, you don't miss anything, you don't have to subscribe. It helps my channel grow though, so if you do, thank you so much. But that is that, that is the pitch. You know, at the beginning, like and subscribe, you know that it's YouTube. Massive fan of The Mandalorian. I was very lucky to have worked on season one previous for the first couple episodes. And when they announced the art of book, you know I had to get so that is the front, that is the back, and that is the cover that you can take off. And ooh, you can see here, let's open this up. Voila, there's a ton of stuff in there. I say it is as I open on the black page. Oh, yes. All right, <laughs> this is going to be bananas. So much awesomeness to look at. The Razor Crest, you got here, title. Lots of artwork contents here. You can see introduction, who's who, the pitch, the Mandalorian, I have spoken, and so on. These are from the episodes. You got a forward by Doc Chang. Awesome art, as always. I mean, this whole book is just packed with awesome art. Lots of iconic imagery at this point. Here's a who's who, everybody involved. Actually, not mentioned there, as I could see. Paul Cavanaugh, animation supervisor at the beginning. Here's the pitch. I love it. I love seeing stuff like that, right? Where it translates from early sketches. But anyway, there's a lot to go through. Let me page through. This is so cool. Like this is, sorry, I got to stop already. I love seeing this. It goes into the different process pitches and early sketches, different creatures. Look at that. The Mandalorian. You got to focus on Mando. Early stages without the cape. I remember when that was pitched and, you know, pitch, not to me, but I you hear this as you work on things and then you go, really? No cape? Come on, you need a cape, you need that flowy stuff. I'm glad they kept the cape. That's cool to see. Cool to see too, progression here of the whole suit, the Razor Crest, spoiler, I'm not gonna talk about what happened to the Razor Crest. Well, let me just page through, look at that. That is so cool. Lots of awesome exploration of creatures, the cats, two page full art. You got the beginning, the entrance, how the door's supposed to work. Lots of cool details. More Lambus, but more art. Then you got your separate characters. Yes, Mr. Herzog. Look at that. Love these. I love seeing variation of Mandalorians and Stormtroopers, Biker Scout helmets. So cool. Environment art. That was a really cool tech with stagecraft. This is probably going to be a longer clip because every page is awesome. I have spoken. Yes, look at that. Love seeing stuff like this. Henchman. Oh, and we're getting to Baby Yoda. Actually, not Baby Yoda, but Grogu. Everybody still calls him Baby Yoda. It is Grogu, though. No? Super cute. Look at that. How cute is that? Then we got the planes here as they were hopping around. Actually, doing previous for that. I remember how. The size of these kind of tricky to previous, how they were hop around, like how big are those gaps? Not that I was the uh, deciding factor at all, but it was a lot of fun to work on that, to kind of determine that. That's the stuff that I worked on is kind of the early staging and previous development of exactly that. Where are they? Where are they shooting? What are they looking at? Direction and everything. It's very, very cool. That's cool too. Look at that. Love these. Trend oceans. Ooh. Job episode was also awesome. And if you haven't seen the show, obviously this is full of spoilers. That I thought was really cool. The animation on the Mudhorn was absolutely fantastic. Love the look, love the, the messiness and the sliding and some of the like the hitting of the head into the ground. Very, very cool. Really hats off to anybody who animated that. Again, spoilers. The Sin going forward with more episodes. Yeah, yeah. Very cool, look at that. This gets into almost Iron Man territory. Also very cool, love all these. All these little, these costumes and insignias, so cool. That's interesting, because it was not quite like that in the final episode as they were flying in more Iron Man style. Although the salute was kind of weird, dare I say. Ooh, Sanctuary, yes. 
also very cool classics i love these these when they walk in, in the in the episode the animation of that integration to the live action play is very cool i mean you know this the whole thing is very cool but i have to say it was very cool these are great i'm still very tempted to get the lego set <laughs> build that with my little one love that he loved that the eyes were glowing because his question was so wait wait is someone in there is that a robot how does this work cool action look at that that's super cool Grogu eating all the frogs how dare he the gunslinger yeah look at that this is why I'm here <laughs> I love stuff like this helmet variations color variations the different designs so cool I love seeing actually prequel stuff redone better renders just up to date very cool these are great too how they were, so if you look at the uh, the making of how they're sitting on this and how it kind of balances, so it has that kind of floaty feel to it. I thought it was really well done as well. Disney Plus has a really cool documentary. For season two, it's a it's a longer, it's a one hour documentary. For season one, it's multiple episodes going through all kinds of things with the directors talking about their process and their experiences. It's also really cool. Love her. We just finished, just finished a couple months ago, last year. Well, for sure last year, now it's 2021. In ER, that's where I know her from the first time, ER, but her costume is great. I think her character's great. She's great in it. Yes, I know everything's great. I do love it though. I do love season one and season two. These are great too. The X-Wings just go in there and demolish everything at the end. That was a bit of a question mark for me. That, holy moly, you just shoot everything. Great too, the voices. That whole thing, that whole episode, I thought was great. I know, again, here's the word great, but I really thought it was a nice switch of tone Kind of cat and mouse thing. The music was really, really neat. The set design also cool. I mean, whenever there's something that's something like that, more classic, classic old school Star Wars white and black sets. It's very neat. The Reckoning, yes. Moff Giddy in the house. That was super cheesy, but hey, I'm actually my little one watches stuff on YouTube where it always talks about the beat and Moff Giddy and super cute. Poor guy, not gonna see what happens. Spoiler. Yeah, I love all these. Sometimes I wish that the concept stuff is usually very dramatic in terms of the lighting and it always gets kind of lost in the actual shooting where it's not as bold and it's light and shadow play. Now, sometimes I wish it would go a bit further, almost like Empire Strikes Back, the ending fight really into darkness and bold colors. Crazy stuff happening here too. Spoilers, Grogu, yes. These are great. Coming back from the old Kenner toy, I believe. If I remember my nerdiness throughout the show. Yes. So it's a shot of this TIE Fighter landing, I believe, animated by Andy Wong. Shout out to Andy Wong. Love this. Love that costume. Look at that. Yes. So cool. Redemption. Also, that whole fight. Very cool. Sometimes we have access to some of these things to look at during the production. And there I say some of the witness cam stuff and things, how they shot that. I saw that super early on. But I wasn't putting the pieces quite together. This was the end. I, I guess I didn't want to really know that this is the end. But it was super cool seeing some of those production uh, photos and concepts early on. There I say we have access to all of that. Spoiler! Spoiler! Also love when he takes it off. It's all messy. Love that he's all messy under the helmet. Very cool. Gets the backpack. Awesome. Awesome voice too. Speaking of which, the dubbing is awesome. The French version of the Mandalorian is great. I don't know if it's going really what, but it is really, really great. The French and the German version, the French especially. Wherever the, the casting for those voices, fantastic. That's a crazy combination of an R2 droid there. Walking into its demise, IG. Very cool, love all this. And fight, da da da, and that's it. Here's your index. Acknowledgements, last-ish piece of art. Here's another one. So neat. Can't wait to get season two. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, yes. Was also very cool. Look at that. We even end on this. <laughs> Into darkness. But there we go. That is that. The last page. Here's the back as we showed before. That again is the front. So as you can see, a lot of artwork. It's very heavy on images, not so super heavy on text. You got some of these, you know, synopses and kind of explaining what's going on, but it's not massive, massive on kind of like a, a making of behind the scenes uh, document like the, the Rinsler books. 
but that is okay because it is an art of both. That's the concentration and that's why I love it. I have spoken indeed. And when I say Rinsler, I mean, I let me show you the books. Oh, heavy stuff here. The making of Star Wars, you can see those are huge. It's been a while. There you go. You got the making of Star Wars. And you can see, oh, I mean, not that they don't have any photos, but you can see there's a lot more text. There's a lot more behind the scenes information. And they actually have really cool iPad versions where you have the same thing, but then also video clips and deleted scenes. It's actually really cool, the digital version. This is the making of Star Wars, the making of Empire Strikes Back, also <sighs> dusty and pretty big, and the make of Return of the Jedi. <sighs> More dust. It's been a while since I opened these, but there we go. There's the back. And again, all of these, let's go back in there. Lots of awesome photos, lots of text, really goes into detail into what happened. Really neat. I highly, highly recommend the books for sure. The digital version is actually really neat. And Rinsler, Rinsler, uh, back there. Oh. Still have to open that. The Alien, the making of Alien. Want to go through that. It's going to take me up. Someone actually do read it, not just go through, but I can do a page through, show you what's in there. They're super cool. Anyway, let's put this back. That is that. For The Mandalorian, the art of book is fantastic. The link in the description is where you can order it. You find it in all kinds of bookstores and where you can find it. I highly recommend it if you're a fan. There's a lot of great stuff in it, as you saw. And that is that. Thank you for watching till the very end. I know these are not short, so thank you for your patience and watching this until the very end. That's it for me. If you like this, as always, here's the pitch. If you like this, you don't want to miss any of these, feel free to subscribe. Hit that bell button so you don't miss any of those uploads. We do upload a lot and you won't miss anything. If you want, of course, you don't have to. It helps my channel grow, though. So thank you if you do. And that is that. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in my next clip.